every day we will have session sharply at 705 okay today is the first class so i took 710 okay so today is a very important day i believe for you optional is very important you know very very important you know but still any ranker it might be any ranker randomly since last 1967 they started optionals from that day onwards till date those who are scoring more marks in optionals they are getting good ranks any optional not only this optional or any optional optional is very important we cannot compromise with optional first understand so so you decided anthropology is your optional and you are sitting here in this anthropology we have two papers paper 1 we will directly go to the subject paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is about general subject concepts ideas paper 2 is about india application of paper 1 in india is paper 2 just we will be applying in indian context we will be applying it again in paper 1 it is divided into evolution of man again evolution of man means uh, only terms are new for you like australopithecine homo erectus neanderthal simple concept how man became erect what are his changes in the biology so evolution of man then archaeology which we will be studying in our history by the name called as prehistory paleolithic mesolithic neolithic chalcolithic that is archaeology so first one is evolution of man which is also called as fossils second is archaeology which is with respect to cultural evolution material evolution material tool tools number 2 Number three is socio-cultural evolution, socio-cultural institutions, socio-cultural anthropology means what are socio-cultural systems? What is our society? In that society, there are some cultures. Means there are some systems like marriage, family, kinship, economic, political, religion. So socio-cultural anthropology. Third, fourth is original subject. Fourth module is original subject, which is called as anthropological thought, which is called as anthropological thought, anthropological thought. this is original subject why because how this cultures evolved how this institutions evolved how this systems evolved from anthropologist context we will be understanding if i tell simply culture evolved like this marriage evolved like this family evolved like this kinship systems evolved like this means general answer general studies which you will be studying in general studies general studies general only general whereas anthropologist context means according to anthropologist according to him how the marriage evolved how the family evolved how the society evolved how the culture evolved this evolution of this systems is anthropological thought so here in this particular module of paper 1 of this of this of paper 1 unit 6 we will be understanding how this cultures or marriages or families evolved according to anthropologists oh ho according to eb taylor in this way it evolved according to henry morgan in this way it evolved according to james fraser in this way it evolved so that understanding of anthropologist point of view the socio cultural institutions is anthropological thought so now you tell me when you are writing about marriage family kinship if you generally write that like this the marriage evolved like this the family evolved like this the kinship evolved it is a general studies or anthropologist answer general studies answer. if you write if you write like this because of eb taylor in this way the evolution happened because of james fraser in this way evolution happened because of mahatma gandhi this is satyagraha means according to nelson mandela this is called as fast on to death according to martin luther junior this is what the non violence is whether the answer will become more authenticate or answer will become weak authenticate when you tell that satyagraha is according to mahatma gandhi is this non violence is this according to nelson mandela according to luther king junior this is what so our answer will become more authentic when we use this particular anthropologist names so using of anthropologist names will make your answer more authentic and will make you to get more marks so that particular unit is anthropological so any unit which i am going into first i will discuss describe the importance of that unit so you got the importance of the unit is complete heart and soul of anthropology is anthropological thought why because we will be discussing about anthropology here and their contributions and their contributions so in this particular thought we have in this syllabus as i told you evolution of man and archaeology unit 1 culture society marriage family and kinship socio cultural anthropology unit 2 unit 3 economic organizations unit 4 political organizations unit 5 religion unit 6 is you ask any random ranker random rank who is from anthropology discipline who is from anthropology optional he will tell that i got rank or i got the service or i got the cadre because of the marks which i got in this particular optional and that marks i got mainly because of this particular unit 
So first I choose this particular unit because this is tough. I, if I want you to make ease, simple, then I will not choose this unit. I will choose another unit like Indian society, will like farmer problem. But you will get more marks when you are perfect on this unit, anthropological thought. Then we have unit 7 language, unit 8 field works, unit 9 genetics, unit 10 growth and development. Unit 11, Fertility and Fecundity, Menstruation Cycle, 12th is Applications of Anthropology. So, the first unit is this. The first is this, Anthropological Thought. First of, first of all, the basic thing in any optional or any UPSC preparation is first we have to study the syllabus or if I tell directly, you have to buy hard the syllabus. It should be in your mind. Unit number 6 sir, this, unit number 7 this, unit number 8 this, you have to buy heart. So, unit number 6, how many schools are there? First we will understand, so that you will know, oh, oh this many schools are there, I have to read this many schools. First school, how many schools, I am dividing it into how many, how many number of schools, A means 1. So, first school is called as classical evolutionism, Isme, E. B. Taylor, Henry Morgan, James Fraser, 3 people are there. So, first school is classical evolutionism. So, you have to tick if it is completed, yes, one school has been completed. Second, historical particularism, Franz Bose, historical particularism, number two. Number three, diffusionism, part of it only, diffusionism, diffusionism is big. In this diffusionism, we have three schools, British school of diffusionism, German school of diffusionism, American school of diffusionism. Third, functionalism, very, very important, Malinowski. He is a trendsetter, he is a game changer of anthropology, Malinowski. Fifth, structural functionalism by Radcliffe Brown, R.C. Brown. Fifth, sixth, structuralism, two people are there, Levistros and Edmund Leach. Sixth, seventh, culture personality school by five people, Ruth Benedict, Margaret Mead, Ralph Linton, Cardiner and Cora Dubois. Five people are there, culture personality school. So, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 schools are there. 8th school, Neo Evolutionism. 8th school, Neo Evolutionism. 8th school, Neo Evolutionism. 9th school, Culture Materialism. 10th school, Symbolic and Interpretative Theories. 11th school, Cognitive Theories. 12th school, Postmodern. I am telling you, if you are perfect in this 7, 12 schools, if you are perfect in this 12 schools, your 50 percent of your anthropology is completed. Why? Because, how sir? It is only one unit, no. You have to apply these people. Application. In tribal problems, you have to apply. In communalism, you have to apply. In Indian society problems, we have to apply. In caste system, we have to apply. Everywhere, we have to apply this particular concept. So, this 12 schools are heart and soul for the anthropology. How many schools are there? Fata fat. Number one, classical, classical evolutionism. evolutionism. Number two, historical, historical particularism. particularism. Number three, Coffee. diffusionism in that three country schools are there. American. British, American, American, German. Fourth, wow. functionalism. Fifth, structural, structural functionalism. Sixth, structuralism. Seventh, Church. culture personality school. Eighth, New evolutionism, 9th culture materialism, 10th symbolic and interpretative theories, 11th cognitive theories, 12th postmodernism, 60 unit, 12 schools are there. Now we will be opening up. 12 schools are there. First, classical evolutionism. Classical evolutionism, 1, 2, 3. 3 anthropologists are there. First school means I am giving clarity that. So, in classical evolutionism, three people are there. If these three people's contributions, if you know, finish, one school has been completed. So, three anthropologists are there. E. B. Taylor, Henry Morgan, James Fraser. Classical evolutionism, E. B. Taylor, Henry Morgan, James Fraser. Classical evolutionism, you know, according to English language, classical means what? Old. Classical means old. So, in old times, means earlier times, means somewhere around 18th century or 19th century, how the evolution happened. Evolution means what? With respect to culture. Here evolution is with respect to culture, not with respect to biology. Here we are de dealing with respect to cultural evolution. So, how culture evolved? 
how culture evolved according to old school. What is that old school name called as? Yes, Classical evolutionism. In that, how many people gave? Three, Three people. E.B. Taylor, Henry Mervyn, James Fry. Number one. So, who is E.B. Taylor? First, then one by one. Twelve schools are there. In 12 schools, one school is called as classical evolutionism. In classical evolutionism, three people are there. In the three people, first big man is E.B. E. Taylor. First big man is E.B. Taylor. He is a British anthropologist. Again, we have to remember for every for every anthropologist his country name. Why? Because that shows his school. British anthropologist. He is regarded as first professional anthropologist professor. He is regarded as first professional anthropologist. So about his introduction. About this E.B. Taylor. E. B. Edward Burnett Taylor, English anthropologist, regarded as father of or founder of cultural anthropology. He is famous because of some work. These people will write one book. Because of that book, they become popular. His famous work is what? Primitive culture. His famous book is Primitive Culture. He is regarded as the first professor of the discipline of anthropology in 1896, called as founder of modern anthropology and comparative ethnology. So, three things we got. He is the first professional anthropologist. He is the founder of cultural anthropology. He is called as founder of modern anthropology and comparative ethnology. What is this sir? Comparative ethnology. He is a person who told that we have to compare between the cultures. Then we can know at what stage they are. For example, if two students are there, if I compare them, then I can know at what stage they are. If not, if I study only one person, then I will think that this person is like this. But I don't know, I cannot degree. I cannot give him rank. Why? Because I am not comparing. So, this person told cultures also need to be compared to know where they are standing. Why, why I am telling now? Because this all schools will have criticism. Understand this. These schools are in evolutionary pattern. First school, it is criticized. Then this school came. Again it got criticized. This school came. Again it got criticized. This school came. Again it got criticized. This school came. So, it is evolution of schools. For the criticism, they gave another concept. For the criticism, they gave another concept. For the criticism, they gave another concept. So, here he his concept is what? Comparative ethnology. Means what? Ethnology means study of comparison between the culture. Next anthropologist came and told that why you are comparing two people, why because if you start comparing you will give degree that one, one culture is superior, another culture is inferior. When you tell that one culture is superior, another culture is inferior, whether differences evolve, the differences results in discrimination, the discrimination results in some sort of atrocities or etc. But this person what he told, comparison should happen. So, because of which he is called as father of comparative ethanol. So, he is a British anthropologist. Number two, he is a founder of cultural anthropology. Number three, his famous book, Primitive. Primitive Culture. Then Henry Morgan, three people, introduction, we have to know them. Henry Morgan. So, he is British anthropologist, he is American anthropologist, Henry Morgan. How to remember? There is a very famous company called J.P. Morgan. The J.P. Morgan company is of Americas. So, Morgan, Henry Morgan is from America, American anthropology. Founding father of modern anthropology. He is known as pioneer of American anthropology. The first anthropologist from America is Henry Morgan. Study human societies, cultures and how they develop. This person studied cultures. This person studied societies and explained how they developed. For example, he told the first stage of development is man is savagery man. Man is savagery man like man eater or or hunting gathering or so much rough, rudimentary, unsophisticated, used to naked, used to live in caves, savagery. Then next stage, stages of evolution according to him, from savagery man became barbarism. He started wearing cloths, but he is barbaric, he is so much barbaric, means ruthless. The next civilization. So, these people gave how this evolution happened from one stage to another stage. Study of human societies cultures and how they develop. He was especially interested, this most important, one idea will be there. For every anthropologist, one idea will be there, they developed that idea. For example, E.B. Taylor idea is religion. E.B. Taylor is famous for, he is a person who studied exclusively with respect to evolution of religion. He is a person who is responsible for exclusively studying about kinship. What is kinship, sir? Relatives. How I call the relatives? 
my father sister how i call my mother's brother how i call my mother's sister how i call my father's brother what i call it is called as kinship terminology the first person who studied about these relatives how these relatives came into existence how this kinship terminologies are given is studied by whom henry morgan he wrote one of the first ethnographies up to now nowhere very very important see up to now eb taylor he just gave his concept by sitting thinking and he written the book called as primitive culture but for the first time this person went to a tribal community in north america went to a tribal community in north america and studied about a tribal community called as iroquois indians so in anthropology terms studying about one particular tribal community is called as ethnography he wrote one of the first ethnography called as iroquois means milestones about this persons we have to understand in the introduction why because sometimes we get question about write about henry morgan write about eb taylor write about james fraser so about henry morgan number 1 american anthropologist pioneer of american anthropology he is very famous for studying what kinships eb taylor is very famous for studying about religion he also discussed about evolution of societies evolution of culture for example savagery barbarism civilization savagery means ruthless naked like animals then barbarism clothes but little bit barbaric civilized we people so there are stages of evolution of man he is henry morgan he is james fraser third person james fraser what he want to tell eb taylor was a british henry morgan was an american james fraser is a british again british anthropologist influential in the earlier stages of modern studies of comparative religion now this person what he did he compared between the religions he compared between the religions and told hinduism christianity islam so he studied about the religions and compared and started telling that which religion is superior which religion is so comparative religions often considered as one of the founders of contemporary anthropology Fraser was among the first to study about religion as a social activity that could be compared and contrasted so he is the first person who studied in detail about the religion and told that magic evolved into religion religion evolved into science so earlier he believed that in savagery time man used to follow magic controlling nature controlling weather controlling food crops controlling hunt this side hunt will get this side water will get if cyclone is coming the magician will control the magic so first stage of belief system was what magic then what happened people could not answer some of the questions which were been put to the magician every man want what answers every man want what answers for the questions which are logically put for the questions which are logically put every man want answers if the answers are given then satisfied so religion could not answer the questions which were been logically put so a vacuum created according to him a vacuum created so people are searching for the truth people are searching for the truth then the people thought that we will create one system such that people will not ask questions only so we will create a system such that people stop asking the questions so then came what religion then came religion but still there are some people who are scientific in nature rational in nature they want to get everything in rational format and they told religion is also of waste and the next big thing is science so in this way he had exclusively studied about religion and he compared the religions so these are the three anthropologists who are part of classical evolutionism who are these three people eb taylor henry morgan james fraser in classroom itself we will complete if you are active number 1 E. B. Taylor, which country? British. British. His famous book is Primitive, Primitive Culture. Culture. He is a person who studied about religion. religion. He is a founder of modern, modern anthropology modern and comparative modern ethnology. E. B. Taylor. Henry Morgan, which country? American. American anthropology. American anthropologist. America. He is famous for studying what? Kinships. Kinships. Kinships are kinship terminologies. Kinship. Everything kinships. Everything about kinships is studied. he gave the stages of evolution of cultures how these stages happened he told third who james, james fraser which country british he is famous for giving the sequence called as magic religion and science he also studied about religion in detail comparatively three anthropologists now you tell me from your childhood you were been listening about 
in childhood onwards you were been listening about communism ussr communism socialism west bengal kerala socialism capitalism narendra modi government capitalism america capitalism if every time if i advocate liberalization privatization globalization then you people I mean generally what the people will tell this person is a capitalist if every time if i tell that people should have the power everyone are equal property should be divided by everyone in spite of rich and poor everyone should have equal income then you people will tell i am a communist socialist government will be there but the government will be dividing the resources among the people it is called a socialism if i tell government is super powerful government should take the property and government should give the property to everyone but government should be there who i am socialist based upon my idea you will dictate me or you will tell me i am a communist socialist or a capitalist yes sir or if i tell a hindutva means a brand called as hindutva islam a brand called as this person is so much traditional conservative so based upon my ideas i will be getting a brand in the same way these three people were been clubbed together under which school yes. why so they have a common idea why they have a common idea these three people are not related one person is in british in 1880 another person henry morgan is in 1890 in america another person is 1905 in british these three people are not related but they are clubbed together under one particular school yes or no why because, because of, of their right so these three people have common idea so these three people have common idea so they are clubbed together under one particular school which is called as classical evolutionism so now we will get a question what is that idea what is that common idea what is that common idea what is that common idea number 1 these three people believe now about the school not about individual about the school why because they first time telling mahatma gandhi is an a socialist nehru is a socialist you will get a question what is socialism so first time telling what is socialism first time telling what is classical evolutionism then i will tell individually how they how they believed in classical evolutionism so what is classical evolutionism number 1 means these three people believed the same what is that same evolution is not spontaneous evolution of culture evolution of man is not spontaneous evolution is what stage by stage first class second class third class fourth class degree it is a stage by stage first point so classical evolutionism what they believed evolution is never spontaneous evolution didn't happen like this evolution happened in stages but not spontaneous yellow color means it is the crux remaining is sentence formation for you the same class pta ppt will be given to you as pdf that will be the first resource yellow color is crux evolution is not stages evolution evolution is not spontaneous but stages. stages second they believed that they might be white people they are white people or black people white. white people they might be white people like e b taylor henry morgan james fraser at that time racism was very much prevalent in america in london racism was very much prevalent violence was happening on black people how the violence happened violence happened on the lower caste in india in the same way the violence happened on black people in western world in spite of that environment being a white man this pe people being a white man this three people they told that racial superiority is a psychological myth so second common thing is what classical evolution is believe that racial superiority is a psychological myth so they told that every man is born equal every man have same biology the colors are different based upon their biology based upon their genetics and environment so just because of their color you cannot tell that one race is superior other race is inferior so the feeling of racial superiority is a psychological myth myth means what maya false a psychological false you are just feeling in your mind that you are superior but you are not superior so they being the white man they being the white man they believed themselves that they are not superior so they told racial superiority is a psychological now you see if you we will give syllabus books after going you take the syllabus books offline people online people open the syllabus book or just listen me in 9.5 of paper 1 there is a unit called as wait wait let it 9.5 of paper 1 there is unit name called as race and racism a separate sub unit is there so race and racism black people versus white people we will be studying this we have to add there the interlinking is very very important so there there is no eb taylor there is no classical evolutionism there is no term only but there you have to bring this concept and you have to write yes 
classical evolutionists from the thought of anthropology they criticized racism and told racial superiority is a second point third they advocated comparatives means they told comparative ethnology or not yes. means what they told comparison should be there then only we can understand in which stage of evolution there if i compare see first i have to compare that's for sure that is the reason upsc is comparing when upsc is comparing they will know the best and the best will be taken into the service so comparison is inevitable the same thing they told advocated comparative methods and survivals of the past very very important understand this this people told comparison should be there when i compare then only i can know who is superior inferior without comparing every man is a hero yes or no if i don't compare ravana is superior if i compare sorry if, if i don't compare ravana is a superior when i don't compare rama is a superior but when i compare then only i will come to know that ramana ravana is little bit inferior than rama comparison is inevitable so ad they advocated what comparatives but they gave another concept which is called as survivals of the past understand this be very careful with common sense is all are what they told with common sense only survivals of the past something is present in the past something is present in the past in the past it was helpful to them so they followed it makes sense it is helpful to them so they followed it it made sense why because it helped them in some or the other way the same thing is not helping anything today it is having no purpose today it is not having any function today because of it i am not getting any net benefit but still i am following it it is called a survival of the past for example just example so you will connect some examples i will take so that there will be understand in india we tie a sacred thread at the time of marriage at the time of marriage why because earlier it used to earlier in india or some other place it had some sacred thing which is associated to it so people used to come together sacred thread used to happen marriage used to happen so they used to stay together so there is a importance of marriage that sacred thread but today in the liberalism neo liberalism in mumbai or in america indians who are settled in america they came to a conclusion that it's a boy and a girl is very important it's not the marriage ritual in spite of marrying also we can stay together it is you and me who should decide that whether we have to stay together or not who what is this marriage ritual but in spite of that we are following marriage why because it is giving some sacredness it is a x girl or a y boy these two people should decide whether they should comes together and they have to stay together then why we are doing marriage marriage is something which is giving some psychological strength though we got married so we have to stay together in real sense it doesn't have any purpose that sacred thread doesn't have any purpose it is just a material thing we are giving importance so it is important we are giving importance so it is important. earlier days it was very very serious it was a very big event now it's not that much big big event but still it is surviving why because people are giving importance in net sense it is not giving any benefit why because it is the people who should decide but they are giving importance to what that sacred thread so they doesn't have any relevance today but still it is all see if it is relevant if it is useful then i will follow what big thing then it will survive but it is not useful but still i am using means if it is not useful it is not giving any net benefit but still i am using means for example a son who is handicapped completely handicapped father and mother are taking care about the son they are lifting him they are taking here and there because of him they are not getting 1 rupee also not any benefit but still parents are taking care about that child without any net benefit they are taking care about the child in the same way some cultures which doesn't have any benefit also if it is followed it is called as survival of the past if it is helpful then i will take care today i will put investment in coaching center i will pay this much of amount he will become ias officer and he will give me more thousand times extra function is there some benefit is there so i am keeping investment not a big thing i know that this person is not going to give any function because this person is not going to benefit me any cost but still i am taking care it is called a survival of the past means i am giving importance to values values means what culture i am giving importance to the values that is called a survivals of past without any net benefit if i am if i am giving importance to that culture means that culture is very sacred to us that culture is very sacred to us so that particular thing which is not having any benefit but still following is called as survival if it is benefit then obviously i will take care if it is not benefit also i am taking care is called as survival of the past old woman in the home 90 years not doing anything criticizing everyone but still staying with us 
no net benefit 90 years but still we are taking it is called as survival of the past it is our culture it is our family it is our culture culture means old people values beliefs customs so we are protecting her it is a headache but still survival of the past first one stages but not spontaneous number 2 number 3 4 culture parallels fourth contribution fourth common contribution culture parallels is due to psychic unity of mankind listen carefully tracks railway tracks are called as parallels why they move in a parallel line they move continuously so they told they tell that culture a means in society a india culture b pakistan if both the cultures are same it is called as culture parallels english language if both the cultures are same then i call it as culture parallels english language so why the both the cultures are same they are answering in some areas the cultures will be same when the cultures are same it is called as culture parallels why there will be culture parallels why there will be culture parallels means the man will be having same psychic means they tell that every man will have the same biology every man will have same need food clothing shelter reproduction these are the needs of african man these are the needs of indian these are the needs of antarctic arctic australia america yes sir no when the needs are same he might be american president lunch 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock he might be the american president his expo his gestures his way of being will be changing after two days if he stop not giving food third day whether he will think he is a president of america or he will wherever the food is available he will be going and taking it means every man is having same needs every man is having same needs so in order to acquire that need i am thinking in the same way to acquire that need so when the needs are same people will be thinking in the same way in order to satisfy the needs so the response will be same the response is nothing but culture if i am a tribe you are a tribe in america i am a tribe in pakistan you went you also feeling hunger i also feel hunger what we both will do you will go hunger in america i will i will go for hunting in america i will go to hunting in pakistan so your way of living and my way of living will be almost same why because our needs are so in order to satisfy the needs my thought process my response also will be same it might be the person who is reading anthropology in old rajendra nagar or in ashok nagar the need is same what upsc rank when the need is same the preparation the the response will be same so culture parallels people are having the same needs in the people in order to satisfy the needs the response will be same so that response is nothing but cultural setup hence the cultures are same according to classical evolution so next concept is what culture parallels is due to psychic believed man needs across the globe are same like food clothing shelter reproduction same are they not same hence to satisfy the same needs the needs are same hence to satisfy the needs the response in the form of thought i am hungry what i should do the thought will be same or different i am hungry the response will be the same or not the thought process will be same or not the response in the form of thought process is also when the thought process is same the action will be same or different same. when the thought process is same the action also will be the same hence culture evolved action means culture in the same sequence which they named it as culture parallels because same thought process which they named it as psychology. thought means psychology only no thought means psychology psychic unity of man a man mahatma gandhi also i am telling man is a self interest man man is a self interest man only gods are different every man is a self interest man mahatma gandhi also he had a interest of satyagraha he had a interest of independence of india he went on to fast on to death for a purpose but normally if you don't give him food he will have some or the other response to get food every man have the same needs in order to satisfy the needs the man response will be same the response will be in the form of a thought the thought also will be same so when the thoughts are same action will be same when action is nothing but culture hence cultures are same that concept is called as 
Next, human cultures as a whole. What is human culture as a whole? Are social cultural institutions evolve in unilinear sequence. So, cultures are nothing but human cultures are nothing but social cultural institutions. I will tell you. See, social cultural institution. What is my social cultural institution? Once upon a time, promiscuity. Once upon a time, promiscuity. Promiscuity means random sexual partners in the primitive stage. Random like dogs. Why? Because man was savagery. Man doesn't know any relationship. Man doesn't know anything. So promiscuity was there. Then he started evolving. Then he started evolving. Then group marriages came. Four boys, four girls. Then polygamy came. One boy, multiple girls, or multiple boys, one girl. Then what happened? One boy, one girl. So slowly, slowly, we are institutionalizing or not? So that what will happen? Every man have a boy. Every man have a woman. So the conflict has been lessened. Means as society is evolving, the social cultural institutions are also become stabilizing. So evolution is nothing but the stabilization of social cultural institutions. That is the reason. Once upon a time, we used to be like animals. Now we are so much civilized. So society is in. Peace. Human cultures as a whole are social cultural institutions evolve in a unilinear sequence, like simple to complex, homogeneity to heterogeneity, savagery to barbarism to civilization. You tell me whether once upon a time everyone are same, like tribe or not. Now we have different religion, different customs, different identities. We are becoming heterogeneity or homogeneity. Heterogeneity. Once upon a time we were all are like homogeneity, homogeneity to when I am homogeneity means I am simple or complex. So now we are becoming what? Complex. complex. So as time goes on, when evolution is happening, the man is changing from simple to complex, homogeneity to heterogeneity, which is nothing but savagery to civilization. Last concept. They believed, but whatever it may be, white man is white man. He will show. He show his superiority. Finally, what he told, they believed. Victorian society as the highest stage of development. Yes, white men are racial myth, psychological myth. But one thing is there, we are developed. Victorian society as the highest stage of development. So that means indirectly what they are telling, who are civilized? Victorian society. Who is Victorian society? British. And America has been colonized by whom? British. Who are living in America? British. So that means the highest stage of development is what? So whatever they told, finally they told that white man is white. So these are the contributions of whom? Classical evolutionism. Like socialism means what? Like communism means what? Capitalism means what? So common beliefs will be there. No common principles will be there. No that common principles I told. Number one, what? Evolution is not spontaneous. It is stage by stage. Number two. Racial superiority is a psychological myth. Next. Comparative. Survivals of the past. Culture parallels. Psychic unity of mankind. Stages from simple to complex, homogeneity to heterogeneity, savagery to barbarism to civilization. Finally, what? Victorian society as the highest stage of... For this, you will add examples. So, how many contributions are there? Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, together. Concept of survivals of past. Number 5, culture parallels is due to psychic unity. This both are interrelated. Culture parallel because of? 6. As a whole of social cultural institutions evolve in unilinear sequence. Like what? Simple to complex, homogeneity to heterogeneity, savagery, barbarism to civilization. Finally, so, how many are there? Write about classical evolutionism. Write about the understanding of classical evolutionism. This three you will write. First paragraph introduction. Classical evolutionism is given by three people. E.B. Diller, bracket British anthropologist, comma, Henry Morgan, American anthropologist, comma, James Fraser, British anthropologist. They had a similar thought of expression with respect to evolution. Hence, they been banded together under classical evolutionism. Next, body. The contributions of classical evolutionism. Point wise you will write. Seven points you will write. Finish. Classical evolutionism. Finish. Now you tell me, when I study individually, whether same points will be there or different points will be there. Same points will be there. So now individually, how they substantiated these concepts? He had his own examples. 
Henry Morgan have his own examples. James Fraser have his own examples. So first, E. B. Taylor. Quickly tell me, what are the contributions of classical evolutionism? Number one, stages but not spontaneous. Number two, racial superiority, psychological myth. Third, survival of the past. Next. Culture parallels. One one word only we have to remember. Culture survival, culture parallels, psychic unity of mankind, racial superiority, psychological myth, stages of evolution is a sequence. Uh, is a sequence. Victorian society has higher stage. One more stages, but not spontaneous. So, same thing. Now individually what they told. Now individually we will come. Overall school we completed. Now individually how they contributed. First E.B. Taylor. Again. Sometimes we will get questions on the school. Most often we will get questions on school. Very rarely we will get question on individual. So it is E. B. Taylor, British anthropologist, Edward Burnett Taylor, E. B. Taylor. He is widely considered as to be the among the founders of anthropology. Founders of anthropology. Early anthropologist. First professor in the discipline of anthropology. First professional anthropologist in the Discipline, primitive culture, sometimes books we have to remember, I told you, which book is famous for E.B. Taylor? Primitive. primitive culture, Taylor's most important book. In his work, Primitive Culture, he contributed to the evolutionary study of culture in anthropology through his study of religion. I told you, E.B. Taylor is famous for what? Religion. Religious studies. And he coined a term for the first time, he coined a term called as animism. animism. He coined a term called as animism. Worshipping of soul. What is animism according to him? So he should tell, no, he should tell. He is a person who studied about religion. He, he told that the first form of religion is animism. He told so he told. The first form of religion is what? Animism. How he told means there is a story in his book Primitive Culture. The story is present in the Primitive Culture. He told Primitive man, man is a daydreamer. Means when he is sleeping in the daytime, he get dreams. Man is a daydreamer. When he get a dream, his soul will go into the dreams. According to Primitive Culture book. Means he is substantiating. Why animism is the first form of religion? Starting with animism. He told, so man is a daydreamer. He will be sleeping in the daytime. When he is sleeping in the daytime, the dreams will come and his soul will go into the dreams. And this with this soul which entered into the dreams, there he will see altogether a new life like avatar. He will see altogether a new life. So every man will go into the dreams. So that soul which entered into the dreams, he will come back again when he wakes up from the sleep. Sometimes what happened? He will not wake up for two or three days, but they will not conduct any funeral. They will not conduct any death funeral, believing that he went into the dreams. His soul is in the dreams, believing that the soul will come out, believing that the soul will come out. So they will wait for three days. They will not see all these things according to E.B. Dealer, whether he is taking oxygen or not. So, in the book Primitive Culture, it is mentioned. After three days also, if the soul is not coming inside, they believe that the soul has been escaped into cosmos. They believe that the soul has been escaped into cosmos. This soul has escaped into the cosmos is so much powerful. Why? Because the soul of a man which entered into the dreams had escaped into cosmos. Now, we start worshipping this soul. Now, we start worshipping this soul. That is the reason in our old people, more than the God, they used to worship our ancestors. If you see in old house, nowadays we people are not keeping grandfather's photos, etc. But we have to keep earlier, in every home you go, in any old house you go, you will see the grandfather's, great grandfather's photos will be there. First they will worship them and they will start anything. Yes or no? Why? Because in olden days they used to believe that the ancestors who died, their soul is escaped into the cosmos and that souls are powerful. That souls are powerful. The worship of souls is animal. In that, this is cool. This is not true. This is according to 
So someone questioned him. So E. B. Taylor, you are telling no animism is the first form of religion. Can you tell me how? Then he told this story. So he is the first person who studied about religion, and he told the sequence of evolution of religion that the religion evolved from animism to polytheism to. Then then what happened? Then he told. So souls are not one man will die. Multiple people will die. So multiple souls are there. So this multiple souls started taking some shapes. Started taking some shape. This is one god. This is another god. This is another god. This is another god. So multiple gods came into existence. Multiple souls became multiple gods. Hence evolved into. Then according to animism, then according to animism, one soul will be super powerful in a tribal community, and that soul will be the embodiment of multiple souls. Hence the multiple souls are merged into one particular god, which is called as. Hence, he told the first form of religion is animism evolved into polytheism, eventually into. Cosmos. So, how this animism evolved means the souls had escaped into cosmos, and we started worshiping the souls. True. Means when I support him, sometimes I believe true. Why? Because in our ancestral homes, in our olden days, whom we used to start any function or any program by worshiping to the ancestors. It is not the gods first; it is the ancestors first. Today also, B M S Tharan Targada. Today also, for our ancestors who died, we do some rituals. So that is called as worship of ancestors. Who are now? They are souls now. So in this way, E B T R is telling that he is the first person who studied about religion, and he told that the first form of religion is animism, evolved into polytheism, eventually into. What is the criticism? Tell me. For every school, every person, there will be criticism. First criticism is Victorian society as is it not criticism? Are why Victorian society as highest stage? Indian society is also highest stage. I will also tell criticism number one. It is it not ethnocentrism? We are great number one. Number two comparisons they told to do. When I do comparisons, whether it leads to discrimination or not, criticism is coming or not. Here what is the criticism? Monotheism he told where last stage. So first stage is. Last stage is monotheism. Oh, oh, you are Christian, you E B dealer. So highest stage of development is monotheism. Monotheism example is what Christianity. So that is the reason you are telling that the highest stage of religion is. Then Greek people are telling, Indians are telling that. That means we are second stage. We are barbarism. Why? Because animism, savagery. Polytheism, barbarism. Civilization, monotheism. Another criticism. Claiming that monotheism is the highest form of religion is criticized because, as you come from that particular religion, you mentioned monotheism is the civilized form of religion. Taylor argued that humanity had begun in a state of primitive savagery. So man has evolved from what savagery progressed to civilization. Everyone told the same or not? These people, barbarism to civilization. Although Taylor believed that his own society was the most highly evolved and most civilized of its day, he thought it still contained many irrational elements that progress would eventually eliminate. He told, "My society, Ameri British society, is one of the evolved society, but however, there are some irrational. He accepted there are some irrational elements in our American society or our British society also. Who told? E. B. Taylor told. Psychic unity, comparative methods, and survival." True or not? Psychic unity. He got. He gave a term called as monogenism. So he told, monogenism means man will be having same thought process in order to satisfy the same needs. Man will be having the same thought process in order to satisfy the same needs. Needs are same, so I have to satisfy the needs. So my thought process is same. Why? Because the needs are same. So why the thought process is same? He told that every man have same genetics. Every man have twenty three pairs of chromosomes, and ninety nine percent of the population is having same biology. And that same biology he named it as what? Monogenism. Again, question will come. No, why same thought process, man? Why they should think in the same way? They can think in different way. No, if he is eating animal, he can eat grass. Then why he is not eating grass? 
then again he told that the man is having the same biology the man is having the same internal genes same so there is same thought process the same biology he coined he named it as what monogenism taylor's belief in monogenism meant that he believed that all human brains followed the same course of development an idea often referred to as psychic unity taylor following the thinking of german ethnologist adolf bastian believed that the widespread presence of similar material artifacts in diverse areas of the world proved the uniform nature of human thinking then he got support from adolf bastian another german anthropologist they completed that told that yes see eb taylor is telling that see go and ask bastian also he is also one of the anthropologist he told he compared different different materials which were been available in museums in america in british in australia and he told the materials are same why the materials are same the tools are same why the tools are same the thought process is your answer and uh, all india rank one answer idea will be same Re structure will be different yes sir no? your answer and all india rank one answer meaning will be same but the structure design and the words will be different but the structure will be same why because the concept is same the monogenism is same so the culture parallels but that person will get more marks you will not get more, more marks because your answer structure will be different your words will be different that person answer structure will be unique so he will be getting more marks but the thought process is why the same thought process monogenism you are studying the same they are studying the same why monogenism my biology is same and your biology is also that concept so psychic unity of mankind is because of and he got support from whom adolf bastian what adolf bastian told he went across the world and compared the tools the tools are same then they questioned why the tools will be same man the tools is same because man thinking process is same if you can open our book our anthropology book or you open any of the random book anywhere in india the idea will be same why because the concept is same monogenism what will be different the structure will be different the words will be different if not the idea will be so psychic unity of mankind is because of same needs in order to address the same needs the thought process is same and that process is same mainly because of what cosmos means in the space he argued that all humans evolved in a similar way the problems solve in similar ways the problems their societies and environments presented to them see i am hungry is it a challenge or not if i don't have food if i don't have food i am hungry is it a problem or not man across the world have same problems in order to solve the problems man thought process will be same hence he changes social order first he is alone he used to do hunting but big big animals were there big hunt big game which we when we hunt big animals it is called as big game i am alone savagery man savagery man doesn't know relations no alone big game is there if i want to food i have to kill big animals why because in the olden days previous days only big animals time period and i will tell you and now i am just telling you example in olden days only big animals were even present like dinosaur etc a new movie came in netflix 65 million years ago big big animals will be there now you tell me when i am a small man of 6 feet whether i can kill that 600 feet now what i should do i have to make friendship with other man you come from that side i will come from this side then what for me 50 50 so relationship came so we both together killed it are this is very nice man again we will go i will call another two friends 25% 25% so the human society started evolving each new social order presented problems that had to be solved with increasing rationality as time goes on as time goes on the problems are becoming complex when the problems are becoming complex i am addressing it more scientifically as i am addressing more scientifically i am becoming more civilized so man is becoming more civilized because the problems are becoming more complex as the problems are becoming more complex the evolution is happening big game alone i cannot so i want companion so i am taking companion two people four people 10 people so the evolution is happening so evolution is because of when the needs are increasing the problems are increasing when the problems are increasing in order to address it i am evolving more rationally i am evolving more scientifically hence i am evolving more civilized way differences between societies resulted from the fact that some societies had progressed farther along the pathways than other societies but he told that 
one thing we have to realize but it is not universal truth understand this it is not universal truth that every society will evolve from savagery to barbarism to civilization they have to follow the path but today british will follow savagery barbarism civilization but africa will be till still in barbarism only stages will not be same time will not be same one day they will also become civilized but time will be different so we cannot tell that every society will evolve from savagery to barbarism to civilization on 20th june british might be civilized africa might be barbaric india might be savagery so you will follow the same path but your stage will not be fixed your stage will be according to your rationality that is the reason industrial revolution came in 19th century in germany industrial revolution in india happened in 20th century but we got it but we got it but it is delayed according to our environmental conditions so everyone should follow the same path of development savagery to barbarism to civilization but the time period will be everyone appreciated it everyone appreciated it means according to environment one person is there his father and mother are ias and ips or bureaucracy indian engineering service like tina dabi another girl is there whose father is a farmer mother is housewife don't know nothing both are facing the same problem what is the problem getting rank is a problem getting rank is a problem but this person whose parents are bureaucrats she cracked quickly but this person also will crack when she is constantly working but it will be so the savagery barbarism and civilization are the same stages of development but it is not fixed one will be earlier another will be delayed so we, our development also from tribal societies to rural societies to urban societies we became urban delayed america became urban very quickly but one day we will become urban but it will not be the same true so everyone will be evolving but the evolution will time it depends upon the time time means what environment in which environment you are 100% appreciated means apart from general contribution eb teller particularly told that there is savagery barbarism civilization but that savagery barbarism civilization every society will pass but that society some societies will be delayed some societies will be quicker because of their environments but compulsory they will pass on. they will pass compulsory they will reach when you are putting effort same upsc also your attempt might not be done because of your environment you don't have proper guidance you don't have proper mentorship but if you are consistently addressing the challenge you will reach civilized society but not today but or she might reach why because she got proper mentorship from childhood she is seeing all ias officer ips officer daily motivation so in the first attempt only she cleared you will also clear but it will take time that is savagery barbarism civilization 100% true see this is anthropology then started people oh correct man what you told we told you are telling something rubbish what is this psychic unity of mankind soul entering into cosmos so man daydreaming then everyone started worshiping animism then they started appreciating him correct for taylor and other scholars of his era such as mehendri morgan also psychic unity was based on but tied to the idea that humanity had to follow a single course of progressive social development savagery barbarism civilization the traits and characteristics of societies could be compared with one another but when i can know but when i can know that you moved from savagery to barbarism to civilization you moved from savagery to barbarism to civilization when i can know when i compare so they advocated comparative methods so they gave importance to what comparisons so we can know at what stage of development you are there when i compare so comparisons are inevitable that is the reason it is called as what comparative ethnology comparative methods comparison should be there when i compare then only i will know no compared with one another to determine whether each fit on the evolutionary scale a clear path from savagery to civilization could then be delineated can be explained when i compare so any society will move from savagery to barbarism to civilization but the time will be differences but one day they will follow the same seek and that is mainly because of psychic unity of mankind monogenism culture parallels as the time goes on the rationality evolves as we are becoming more rational we will become more civilized true in detail see if you do one school only i am discussing completely in detail so that you will not miss single point exhaustively i will be doing the same eb taylor concept i can tell in 5 minutes 
The same E.B. Taylor concept, I can tell two hours. But for you, I will categorize two by because conceptual clarity is very important, my dear friends. One day magic will not work. Don't think I will do magic. Ready-made points I will take. Introduction I will fix. Conclusion I will fix. If the question comes, introduction I will by heart and go. I will not see. I will not see the question also. I will write the answer. Wrong advice. Some seniors will be rotating here, here and here. Auntie stalls, they will say, books are there. What book you are? Why you are reading this book? Sir, then who you are? I am senior aspirant. How many times you cleared a place? No, not one time also. Conceptual clarity is very important. Elimination techniques. What happened to 2023 plims? Elimination methods ko dafa diya tha. They buried elimination methods. Everyone elimination technique, YouTube video, 20,000 views. By hearting it, that Roman Saini started this elimination methods. Completely elimination methods, completely zero, 2023. Who are clearing prelims, you know? Who are concepts are, fundamentals are important. Our souls are important, our attitude is important, our ethics are important, concepts are important, that is permanent. Magic, religion, this won't, this won't work. What works means concepts, the soul, the ethics, the values, means basics. You should be very strong in basics so that any question you can address. Take this for general studies also. Don't run for ready-made materials. That is a very, very, very disaster thing. You will not clear prelims also. You should have conceptual clarity. Nothing can substitute conceptual clarity. Nothing can be an alternative for basics. These all are basics. Next. Survival is a material trait or a social custom existing in a society that had no clear, see, that had no clear logical use and necessity within that society. You understand that? That material of a culture, that material of a culture doesn't have any clear logical necessity but still it is present but still it is present it is called as survival and if it is necessity everyone will use no if it is having some logical reasoning everyone what big thing but without any logical reasoning without any clarity without any necessity i am following it means something big i am following something big that is called as culture survival i am not getting any net benefit but still i am following means culture survival Example, he took one example, this example, horsemanship. Earlier times, in 16th century, 17th century, 15th century, 14th century, British elites used to wear this dress while going for horse riding. Only few people should have this privilege of horse riding. This particular dress is called as horsemanship dress, horsemanship coat. It was necessity there. Why? Because see, simply you can go and you can sit and you can go. It's comfort oriented, convenience oriented. Convenience, very easily you can jump. See, totally convenience oriented stitching did. It was a necessity at that time, 14th century, 14th, 13th century. Today also, if you see in British society, mainly house of lords, lots, house of lords, or in the elite families when they are doing parties, functions, the men will wear this dress, women will wear the gown, big gown. Why that much? Again, we have to carry it. Which is any, in today's society, there is no net benefit of wearing this. But for any family function, he is wearing this and he is going. Without any net benefit, why he is following? Culture. It is my culture. This is the way of dress which I wear. Culture, survivals. He took the example. He took the, I am not taking the example. He took the example. According to E.B. Taylor, in the 14th century, 15th century, 16th century, horsemanship coat used to be there. It was been having some function of wearing in horse riding. But the same coat, same dress he is wearing in functions, social functions. Where? In 20th century, in 21st century. Why? It is a symbol of culture. It doesn't have any net benefit, but still we are following. It is called as culture survival. It is called as culture survival. We can wear night point and short and we can go to the marriage. Whether anyone will stop? No. See, I have wedding card, then why you gave wedding card? Okay, you come. But why we wear in a traditional wear? Culture survival. Culture survival, which doesn't have any net benefit, but still we are following. It is called as culture survival. He proved with this exam animism and evolution of religion as i told you taylor defines animism as general belief in spiritual beings and referred to as the groundwork of the philosophy of religion it is the most basic form of religion according to taylor animism has two elements the continued existence of the individual soul after the and the existence of spiritual beings who affect or control events in the world means already soul which is in the cosmos it became God, now when it became God, whether it will control the natural events? So, two things it is happening. The soul itself became God. Soul itself became religion. After becoming God, what it is doing? It is controlling the natural events. When I believe that it controls the natural events, please, I will, please, I didn't study anything, but I will darken 
all the circles it should become correct early morning i will do this is the only thing left so please whatever i dark it should become correct or last 20 bits are remaining i will dark this 20 all bs all bs should be right if it is right i will change my religion if it is right means compulsory we will change our religion so souls they not only became god but they also started that particular is called as animism taylor proposed that these beliefs these beliefs probably came into existence for practical intellectual reasons primitive people invented them to provide a reasonable explanation of death and of dreams thus he understood this element of religious belief as a kind of primitive science some questions are there understand how man evolved suddenly adam and eve came they ate some apple so they got some intentions it's a science oh this is accepted means what like in china it is first a matter came in india hindu it is first panchabhuta which came from the panchabhuta the man came we got satisfied animism also evolved because it is satisfying some questions so which is not logical but we call it as what primitive science why because we ourselves got satisfied with the answers which is given by that religion so eb taylor told so why the people started accepting this animism as a religion because people got satisfied with the answers given by animism so hence they called it as science but what type of science hence a question animism is called as primitive science it's previous question is this animism is called as primitive science 10 marker question there will be 10 marker no animism is a primitive science means first we will discuss about animism then we tell that it is not logical but the people are satisfied primitive man is satisfied with the answers given by the animism hence it is called as taylor argued that as human rationality progressed religion moved from animistic beliefs in spirits of the dead and of the inanimate objects to polytheism and then to monotheism the progress of religion thus moved along with general progress of humanity animistic beliefs in spirits of the dead and spirits of inanimate objects was associated with the most primitive societies more advanced societies were associated with polytheism and the most advanced societies practiced so who is following monotheism now most of the christian societies and islamic societies so this person is a christian so again it is a criticism this concept of evolution of religion is animism to polytheism to he linked religion and soul to ancient man's daydreaming concept which is called as dual existence one is real existence other is in the dream there is a story called as green funeral and dry funeral what is a green funeral if the soul is entered into the dream if it is not coming for three days they will not do any funeral believing that he will come back it is called as green funeral after when it go into the dreams and it will not come out then the people will conduct the funeral means they will do death ceremony it is called as dry funeral so after dry funeral where the soul is present now cosmos that soul is worshipped now which religion animism G green funeral dry funeral and is the major thing and this after dry funeral the soul escaped into the cosmos into the space that soul worship is called as now you tell me eb taylor's contribution one by one one by one one by one in detail from eb taylor's concept to be discussed he is the first person who gave the definition of culture definition of culture first anthropologist to define culture this is the definition of culture culture or civilization taken in his wide ethnography sense is that complex whole which includes knowledge beliefs art morals law customs and any other capabilities and habits acquired by man as a member of society that complex same which includes knowledge belief art morals law customs and any other capabilities and habits acquired by man as a member of society you tell me your culture is acquired by you as a member of society or not your art your customs your traditions your belief is acquired or not whether you learned or it is inherited inherited means given from parents acquired means learned whether the culture which you are having in the form of knowledge beliefs arts customs is acquired or inherited the first definition of culture up to then people used to think that white man will have white culture black man will have black culture but this person told that no 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 culture means all these things which are and also gave linking happiness with three stages of evolution of society savagery barbarism and civilization understand this he told savagery man is less happier because he totally from morning to night he will be rotating around to get food so he will have less time for leisure 
Barbarism man is having little time for leisure. Why? Because little bit tools came. Civilized man is having more leisure. Why? Because he had machines or ready-made he will get food. So more happier man is having more time. So hence more happier according to him is? There is criticism also, but first we will understand from this person. Linked happiness to evolution. So, savagery man is less happier, civilized man is more happy. He linked. How? With respect to time. Savagery man, every time from morning to evening, he will be searching for food. So, he does not have any time for leisure. So, his enjoyment is? His happiness is? Less. Whereas, civilized man, ready made food is available because of machines and industries. So, he no need to put so much of time. So, he is more? Studied culture parallels, studied culture survivals, culture definition, culture's views on race, we know. In the 19th century, political controversy over the question whether all the races of mankind belong to physically and mentally to a single species. Taylor was a powerful advocate of the physical and psychological unity of mankind and he told that every man is same physically and psychologically, hence racial superiority is a Taylor and field work. He did not do any field work. He is what? Armchair anthropologist means what? He used to sit and he used to think. Armchair chair will be there, no? He used to sit, he used to think, and he used to give the theories. So he is called as armchair anthropologist. How soul will go whether he saw? So he is he didn't do any field work. Field work means going to that community, staying with them, studying them is called as field work. But this person know where he went, but he gave the theories. Hence, it is called as what? Criticism. Now you see the criticism. Theory of savage philosopher on what? Daydreaming concept. Theory of savage philosopher. This person is giving philosophy that soul is going, coming, and the soul is worship is called as animism. So criticized as what? Already savagery. For savagery man, there is a philosophy. Hence, he is called as what? Theory of savage philosopher. No scientific evidence. Why? Because lack of data collection. Why? Because he didn't do field work. He did not do field work. Because of no field work, he was criticized as? Psychological study says, primitive people are more happier than modern man. Yes or no? Psychological study says, primitive people are more happier than? But this man is telling who is a more happier? Yes. His comparative study is criticized as? Ethnocentric. When I start comparing, what will happen? Degrees will be superior, inferior, superior, inferior. It leads to what? Discrimination. Discrimination, ethnocentrism. We are superior, you are inferior. So, comparison should not be there. But this person advocated what? Criticism. A small 0.1 percent is also negative. We will write in criticism. Finally, however, by early 20th century, almost all anthropologists had abundant research on demonstrating a single evolutionary sequence for humanity in spite of critics. Because of his initial works, he is considered as father of cultural anthropology, father of British anthropology. Everyone criticized him. But however, because of his initial works, he provided food and fodder for further research. Hence, he is called as father of cultural anthropology, father of British anthropology. This is the contributions of E.B. Taylor. Tell me quickly, this is first. E.B. Taylor, what he told? E.B. Taylor. Famous book, Primitive Culture. In this book, he told the religion is animism to Polytheism to why animism, daydreaming concept, correct, savagery, progress to civilization. As man evolving with time, the problems, the challenges are becoming more scientific. When it is becoming more scientific, he need to address more scientific. Hence, he is evolving more, ev civilized. Then, psychic unity, comparative methods and survivals, culture survivals and car culture parallels. Compared to who supported him? Adolf Bastian. Psychic unity is based on biology compared with one another. Biological culture, survivals. Example, horsemanship. Animism, how it evolved. Animism, then we had savagery to barbarism. He is first person to use statistics. Up to now, every, every person just gave the theory. But this person started adding some numbers. When he is adding some numbers, means he is trying to add science to his theories. Anthropology. So, first person who used statistics means he started adding numbers. Then civilization, culture, definition, then view on race, on field work and criticism on E.B. Taylor. Clear? This is about E.B. Taylor. All concepts from all books. If you are reading more, you are unnecessarily wasting your time. You are a savage philosopher.
So tell me contributions heading stages EB dealers correct only EB dealers that is classical evolutionism complete school EB dealers first one stages but not spontaneous stages is savagery to barbarism to civilization he gave the reasoning as time goes on the problems are becoming more complex so more rationality is required hence more evolution is happening in civilized format number one number two religion he told daydreaming concept so animism evolved animism evolved into polytheism polytheism evolved into monotheism next definition on culture next culture survivals next culture parallels culture survival we have the example of horsemanship culture parallels we have example of psychic unity of mankind he gave a term called as monogenism next on race next on happiness on statistics eight points next culture definition next he didn't do any field work so 10 contributions are there from eb dealer quickly first 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 one ah takuriya wo tumhara internet problem hai takuriya sir no one is complaining that voice is not visible audible means only you are telling me that is your problem only please check your internet everyone should have very good internet online people ah number one stages of evolution next polyism third culture parallels culture survivals next linking happiness next definition, definition of culture statistics next write one question first question classical evolutionist eb taylor first question classical evolutionist eb taylor gave animism is the first form of religion why gave animism is a first form of religion why gave animism as a first form of religion gave animism as a first form of religion question mark why he regarded he regarded religion as a primitive science he regarded religion as a primitive science he regarded religion as a primitive science why question mark question mark why again question mark so tell me according to first you will write about eb taylor eb taylor is a british anthropologist first any anthropological thought take my word any anthropological thought question introduction introduction means introduction only eb taylor is a british anthropologist he is famous for his book called as primitive culture he is a person who gave the evolution of religion why because the question is about religion only that point we have to highlight he is a person who gave the evolution of religion he told that it is from animism to monotheism to polytheism full stop monotheism animism to polytheism to monotheism full stop then you will keep side editing first time when you are writing an answer you have to break the question into pieces two pieces are there first piece is what animism is a first form of religion so second editing body animism is the first form of religion side editing give points what is that daydreaming green funeral dry funeral cosmos so hence animism hence this multiple souls took multiple shapes hence polytheism then this all combined together and evolved into one religion called as monotheism but however the first religion according to them is animism first part of the question is addressed second part of the question what is second part of the question religion as a primitive science second part second side editing that's it we have to make answer writing is nothing there is no one best way take my thing toppers also toppers copy we have to look we have to analyze we have to have our own format we should not copy format never we should copy we should have our own format why because when we develop our own format we can remember forever the benefit is when we copy we cannot when we develop ourselves when we innovate ourselves we can remember second format is what second question is what religion as a primitive science then you will answer so as the time goes on the problems the needs are evolving in order to address the needs the ch- in order to address the challenges the rationality has been evolved hence eventually the progress has been occurred in this particular process in the magic also there are some things which were been addressed scientifically so they got satisfied by saying that yes animism is also a first form of religion so they themselves got satisfied hence it is called as primitive second part of the answer then you will conclude however animism is the first form of religion is criticized by various anthropologists why because the concept is not scientific and the stages of evolution from animism to polytheism to monotheism is criticized why because today also we see in india polytheism animism and monotheism existing together existing together hence it is also criticized third every religion religion as a primitive science is criticized because science itself want evidence but you don't have any evidence three criticism why because that is a main part of the question then however because of his initial works he was been appreciated however because of his initial works he was been appreciated and named as father of cultural anthropology and father of british anthropology and he provided food and fodder for further research hence we have to recognize his efforts full stop primitive science means nothing what 
for he himself gave some logic people are happy people have satisfied yes my god is this so by saying so it is a science why because they got answers for the questions which were been logically that is primitive science according to eb taylor this is question the next is next topic henry morgan in detail we will discuss this is iroquois indians then stages of evolution some figures we will do then james fraser criticism then criticism on complete school then previous years questions i will take on complete classical evolutionism and tomorrow i will complete classical evolution okay day on day you read i i i tell that for anthropology 3 hours is enough daily 2 hours of class 30 minutes of class revision 30 minutes of answer writing i gave one question write that answer and i will there will be one listen carefully one answer writing platform will be there telegram open group you have to write answer and you have to post in that open group i will be evaluating and i will be sending in the open group daily answer writing weekly test is very serious for me daily test is for practice weekly test is very very serious i will be evaluating it and i will be sending you how in app you will be seeing assignments in assignments the question paper will be posted every sunday test i am talking again i will tell you at that time you have to download it if you are online people offline we will give any question and answer booklet we will take it online people you have to download it you have to take the print you have to write the answers and you have to again upload in the app itself it is secret but daily is open for everyone so that each one answers if you see what will happen it is working since last 7 8 years i am doing this it is working those who didn't study they are getting some points they are comparing comparative studies they are doing comparative studies in that way answer writing practice will happen so daily answer writing practice you will be submitting in open group the link will be posted after the class for daily answer writing practice weekly test will be in the app only okay ah marks is 15 marks no no first no 10 marker two pages remember this 10 marker two pages 8 minutes 15 marks three pages 10 minutes 20 marks four pages 12 to 13 minutes this is fixed examination hall now you no need about time management i am telling you no need for time management you you focus on good content after 15 days 20 days you fastest you focus on time management now not required now you slowly slowly if you focus on time management content you will lose content is important once you develop content then you can manage on time so now don't worry about the time this question is 10 marker only any doubts anyone and one more thing see within one day three day four day you cannot learn complete anthropology you are young so i am telling you you cannot judge within three four days you have to be consistent big exam this is keep in your mind sir this classical evolutionism what sir savagery soul cosmos dry funeral green funeral from where he got this thought from where he got this idea we cannot do we want marks means we have to read this but we have to understand from that person we have to like him then we will read more or cosmos escaped <laughs> After escaping, they will do funeral. True, in, in our ancestral homes, all ancestors photos will be there. Nowadays, it became style. No one is keeping ancestors photos. Photos. Earlier, they used to keep any function, any ritual without worshiping ancestors. They should not. They should not start anything. But now, no house we see ancestral worship means they now they are what souls. Now they are souls. No, no. It is only classical evolutionists. Montesquieu just gave an idea. They are copies. But original, we we are discussing only about classical evolutionists. Montesquieu gave in different context. Ah, I will send you one workbook. A workbook I will be posting in your group now, and I will send voice message. See, your complete channel will be whatever messages will be posted will be posted by me only. Whatever I post message, audio or video, please look into it. I will not send all the rubbish materials, which is very much useful. That too in concise ma- manner only I will be sending you. Workbook I will send one voice message. You will listen it. You will understand. Okay. what how we designed workbook means for example for paper 1 work one workbook paper 2 one workbook how it will be there for example unit number 6 syllabus unit name then topic two pages white papers will be there you have to write revision notes there then after that previous year question one page one paper two pages means one paper two pages will be there another one expected question will be there so it will be like a practice book workbook means practice only no it is practice book so your notes your previous year question answers and expected question answers should be in that one book when you do revision after one year it will be very easy at that time you will understand the importance of it notes will be there and that notes you should not like like in a complete answer it should be like bullet points then one previous year question is there in that particular workbook and expected question so for every topic this three will be there notes previous year question expected question so you do answer writing practice in that 
so that it will be forever that is workbook i will post now sir how to how do we get pdfs every day classroom pdf i am posting i already have posted classical evolutionism it is there in the telegram channel abhishek do, don't go advanced now only where i told totemism you are going up to totemism wait it will come you will read how to make notes what you do the classroom five five materials are there number 1 classroom ppt this one is primary very very primary not textbook also this is very very primary develop 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 nothing is left i am it's open challenge you cannot get any extra topic in any book all the topics are covered here so first is what class ppt you have to depend on it for 70% second class textbooks which we will be giving you third for every unit i will be giving you value added content for every unit for extra reading 4000 case studies i will be giving you 1000 case studies bullet points to the point where you have to use fifth model answers for every test how the answer should be the 12 tests will be there no weekly tests so model answers will be there this five you have to read making notes don't make paragraphs answer paragraph notes make notes bullet points when you are doing answer writing practice there you make paragraph but in your notes it should be bullet points why because bullet points easily you can read and it should be like revision notes like racial superiority psychological but that's it when you read that you have to understand complete story animism polytheism monotheism you have to write that three points if you read that you have to understand first form of religion is animism you have to know the story so in detail you should not write your notes so what will happen means you can remember more you can reproduce more if you don't understand you will go to the classroom ppt and you will read like that okay harsh and don't be in a hurry slowly it's a process it's a process first first you have to understand that this exam is tough exam it's a process one day magic will not happen never will happen it takes consistent efforts okay so write that answer and submit me today thank you okay online i ah, yes one more anyone have any doubts this is my personal number abhishek you can ask me your doubt i will answer your doubt why because totemism i didn't told way others will not understand it will come next after two three classes it will come thank you